and setting things up for the Blue Jays offensively. Lauren Jensen, the lone newcomer, and she's going to be a big piece as well. See the Pressure. Hoyas getting set up in zone defense here. That's what Coach Flannery thought he would see a bulk of from that defense. Outside to Rimbaugh from the near wing, and it's good. Jays with a couple of triples, and they lead this one 6-0. That good adjustment by Rimbaugh. Rimbaugh on the wing. She'll drive again, and all the way off the glass and in. And it's an 8-0 lead for the Jays, and the Hoyas want to talk about it. The bench, but this will be a story, though. The benches and, and the depth for both sides. Morgan Molly, the left-handed shooter, drops in her opening attempt. And it's 11-0 Blue Jays. Morgan Molly. Positioned by the Jays. Now can he get a stop? Another attempt for Molly. She's got it again as she trips over the foot of Grace Ann Bennett. Four. Now Rimbaud back the other way. Pushing the pace for the Jays. Saunders wide open in the corner and Dwarick knocks it down. Blocked away by Roncic. Quick feed to Molly. And the Jays are running. Jensen up the left wing. Rotsky calling for the basketball. Inside, Roncic matching up with Clockerty, and wow. Emma Roncic wins that battle. Nice feed there by Molly as Ron Seconds on the shot clock. Saunders to Mogensen. Hard right-handed dribble at the line, back to Molly. Three-pointer on the way with a second left, no good. And a rebound offensively. How about that by Saunders getting down low and fighting off not one, but two Hoyas, and then the good pass down low on a Jays basket. That's a really important basket. Rebound. Mallory Brake doesn't have the size there, but stayed tall. Molly, look at her. Excuse me, Mogensen flying through the lane. And a quick decision. Been very cavernous. You've mentioned that a couple times. It certainly is. Rimbaud on the drive, kicks it back out to Ronsick. Now a nice feed again. Emma Ronsick with the feed from Tatum Rim. And it's a rebound by Jensen. She'll carry the ball up. Rotsky calling for it on the far sideline. She'll get Rimbaud instead, now gets it back. And Lauren Jensen drops it down. And that's enough to get the timeout called for by Coach Howard. He's seen it turned around, poked right out by Scott into the hands of Wright. Rimbaud the other way, and she gets the lay in. The little hesitation dribble I think was a Football coach for a dad, but clearly some soccer skills also. There you go. Molly, quick feed to break off the glass. Nice job as Clockerty came in late on the help and wasn't in time. And that ball slapped back to her by Batchelor. Offensive board for the Jays. Ronsick wants a three. And she's got it. And it's and Batchelor stays put as well for the Jays. I don't know. I don't know if Tatum's eyes can get any bigger when she's passing the ball. Finds Batchelor, and she must have liked what she saw. It's a bucket. Reality, <laughs> but definitely the uh, the wide eyes for sure. Batchelor drives in off the glass and in. She'll go for the and one attempt. And Kelsey Ransom again does not like the blocking foul call. Well, that's Ransom's fourth foul again. That bucket that she made on the previous possession for the Hoyas was her first field. Mogensen, Molly inside the Batchelor. Fronted again by Ransom. Batchelor, nice move. And the easy bucket as Ransom plays with four fouls. And that's exactly. It's down low, too. She's really made it hard for the Blue Jays when she's been in the game. And now you see her out of position on Rimbau and out trying for the rebound, but off of her hands into the hands of Molly. That was a great job by Haran. And she gets rewarded with an assist and a bucket by the Jays. Haran started that possession by the Jays. Absolutely right. Jamie Haran will settle things down as she dribbles into the Blue Jay front court. Outside, Dwarak's open for three. She wants it. She's got it. 62-36, Blue Jays. Moran. Jays will get one more shot here in this one. Nice move by Mallory Brake. Pulled away from Georgetown as this game went on. Your final score, Creighton 64, Georgetown 38. Well, you get a physical team like Georgetown and here, Creighton, how do you assess your effort today? I think Coach Flannery is going to be really happy with the amount of offense that they put in, the, the defense that they played against.